Hey, what is up guys? We're back with another lit video and today we are going to be going over the new bat that just came with the SkyFi event pretty much and this is going to be the Astro Bat 9000 as you see um, we have it on copper right here 1680 gold in the shop um, of course this sword is a club lights retro sky fi a fairly quick bat with high damage and low impact energy slam heavy attack that launches an explosive energy ball at enemies dealing damage in an area so we're definitely going to be looking at this more in depth this um ball that impacts um enemies that are in a group so we're going to be definitely looking at that heavy attack ability but right now we're going to buy this and we're going to level it up 130 sunbeam and get it all blue rolls and I will see you guys when we look at the rolls. So here we go we actually just upgraded this bat to 130 sunbeam as you see it takes 8 planks 36 uh, oxidize 1 uh, active power cell and then 11 sunbeam we are going to have this all on blue rolls. We're going to, of course, have Astro Bat is going to be energy, uh, which goes with the SkyFi event. We're also going to have attack speed starting off. Uh, we're actually going to, you know, change these around. But this is how the bat came. came with movement speed and crit rating with damage as the fifth. And then the sixth perk is going to be critical hits. Cause seven exploding projectiles to scatter to surrounding area can only occur every three seconds. So that is going to be a big deal in attacking these big waves of husk. Um, the damage, of course, in game it will change. Is at twenty thousand with a DPS of thirty nine thousand. Of course, in lobby with uh, a teams, it's going to go higher. So crit hit chance of 41.5% with crit hit damage of 50% and attack speed of 0.52 seconds. We're also going to have a durability of 300 with an impact of 1,349. So of course we're going to go with the crit rating, uh, crit hits, you know, crit chance, stuff like that. We're going to go with that build just because that 6 perk, we cannot change it and it is a really really good um, crit build of pretty much this bat so I'm gonna change these perks around and we're gonna go straight in game and I'll show you guys this Astro Bat 9000 of course uh, we're gonna be using pretty much a sword ninja for this bat just to test it out um, we can use constructors stuff like that to actually get that melee club damage I'll be showing you guys the hero loadout that I will be using in a second. So here we go. This is, of course, the hero loadout that we are going to be going to be using for this bat. Uh, we did the bats. We got the stats for that. Uh, the rows that I picked for that. I'm going to show you guys in a second. But before that, let's go and show you guys what this hero loadout is going to be. We're going to have, of course, Dark Vanguard Airheart with her software ability which increases hardware heavy attack efficiency by 200 percent it's gonna be great for uh, the bat as its club um, hardware of heavy attack is gonna be great as it does have that extra um, ball don't really know what it's gonna look like but I'm happy to see it in a second we're gonna have our team perk as kinetic overdrive kinetic overload occurs an additional time this requires three constructors with three or more stars we do have three constructors for this our first support team is going to be a maximum overload which increases kinetic overload damage by 50 percent and this is going to be steel wool sid the mythic hero um i believe you can get him out of the collection book if not then there's some other choices you can pick for your support teams with our second support team we're gonna have hardware crit rating increases hardware crit rating by 17 
which is going to help a lot get more damage uh, and crit rating for this weapon we're going to have assassination dealing melee weapon damage grants one stack of assassination assassination lasts five seconds and increases melee weapon damage by 4.5 percent um, of course you know this is a melee the club so this is going to work perfectly for this we're going to have our fourth support team which is going to be must protect critical hits with melee weapon energy damage add 32 percent of current shield to damage of course this is um who's this eddie and eddie is a part of the sky five vents uh so of course same energy energy all the heroes are energy for sky fi so just like the weapons um and our last support team is going to be corrosive strikes melee crit hits apply 30 percent snare and affliction which deals 37 percent of damage dealt each second for three seconds so this is the hero loadout that we're going to be using for this bat and of course the bats uh, perks that we're going to be using for this bat is going to be crit damage we're going to have a heavy attack energy efficiency we're going to have crit rating and crit damage so we have two crit damage and of course a crit rating so we can get more crit damage with uh, this weapon so I'm going to head into a power level 100 mission and we're going to destroy some waves of husk with this weapon I'll see you guys in there Alrighty guys, so here we are in a mission. We do have this awesome bat. Holy crap, I just did that for the first time. And this bat is looking insane even before I even touch a zombie with it. It's looking a little dangerous. We're going to be trying it out on, first of all, try to get them in a whoop, little group. I want to try the heavy attack first before I do anything else. This is power level 100 husk, as you see, and we're going to try out this heavy attack. Okay, okay. I want to try to get back a little bit, though. Let me, let me put down this just so they're slow. I want to try this because it sends that little bomb out, and that bomb is doing... About, oh, I couldn't get a really good look on it, but there is a group of husk right over here. I'm going to go test it out on them real quick. Try to get that ball right over there. Ah, uh, put my head down before I can no. throw it. So that was at 10,000 damage right there, and that actually did clear a good uh, bit of husk out. Of course, it does damage right there, and then it actually throws the ball farther back. So if you got a line of wave, like a wave of husk, but they're like slowly coming after you, so there's like a line of them. Uh, you can hurt the people in front and in the back, which is something I really do like. Um, let's try the regular power hits of this. So we got 23,000, 79,000 saw right there and I think it was a hundred and ten let me try out some more it's really hard to get the numbers right because they do look a little bit different uh, 9,000 so goes up to about 70,000 if that was 70,000 it was 7,000 or 70 we did see a 23 though so yeah 70,000 damage I do the crit hit chance That's the last one. you also do get those um as you see if we go to loadouts not loadout nice work just go to Add blue glow this to the weapon atlas. says crit hits cause seven when you're ready exploding to projectiles to scatter so let's see if we can find those yep you see that so if you got like you know while you're in a match you get those um ones that are spawning like around in of course these things these tentacles right here so you see a projectile just go out it has a chance of hitting someone nearby so as we see we're going around hitting about 34,000 as you saw right there a nice even hit of 34,000 
um, individually we're hitting about 6,000 and we're getting really really good high damage and they're not really touching us that much of course we only have like 250,000 health right now and of course they're not exactly focusing on us but we can protect this uh, survivor in a probably wow, 100 mission which is all that really matters um so yeah it's really awesome weapon i definitely like it it's one of the best bats that's for sure probably even one of the best clubs um of all of them as you know the energy damage really helps a lot too and i really like it i'm definitely gonna keep it hold on to it and use it in my loadout if uh i ever feel like using it it's a really fun weapon to use especially that baseball swing with that uh, ball coming out and actually damaging a little bit of far away husk um so yeah that's pretty much what I have for today if I could find a smasher I would use it on the smasher uh, if I don't find a smasher I will just end the video here but I feel like we can find one when we do this mission so I'm just going to leave it out here. But if we do not find a smasher, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you guys do like, comment, and subscribe for more Lit Fortnite videos just like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. So actually going through a mission, I have figured out that um, it is definitely better to actually, um, for your team perk, if we go to loadout team perk instead of that um, extra kinetic overload that we had for it it's probably best to use um, that extra health boost that loses your um, shield and has a hundred percent more Three Atlas victory. health pretty much which means that you'll have 500,000 to a hundred to one million 500,000 to 1 million health because as a constructor it is going to be hard um, to get to stay alive pretty much during your attacking um, the husk close up because you only have about 200 to 300,000 health so that is one thing that you want to have um, and yeah that's pretty much all we did not find a smasher to test the bat out on but make sure you guys do subscribe. Peace.